Now, in today's episode, we're going to show you everything slide related if you've got the slide cable system. We're going to show you how to replace your slide cables, how to replace the gearbox on one of your slide motors, and how to replace the rollers underneath your slide. Now, all of the parts today we've got on Amazon, and there's links to all of them in the description of the video. So if you need to do any of these projects on your RV, everything's nice and easy to find for you. In a previous video, we showed you how to set up a scaffolding system outside your RV so that you can remove it yourself and save yourself four to $5,000 from having these projects done at a dealership. Later in the video, I'm gonna show you how to get your slide cables properly adjusted and your slide level and square so that it rolls nice and smooth. Uh, our slide roller, the pin has actually started to remove itself causing the rollers to drop and seize up. So you can see here where there's a flat spot worn in them. So it's dragging across it rather than rolling across it. Now, now that we have the slide room out, all we have to do is remove these four screws. Once you've inspected and replaced any slide rollers that need replacing, the last thing to do is to slide your slide room back into your RV. Once your slide room is back inside the camper, you're gonna take your slide room brackets, put them back on, reinsert your cable into your slide and insert the rubber grommet to make sure the cables don't come out. Do this on both the inside and the outside for any cables that are not being replaced. Now you can see here, this one cable has a lot of extra slack in it. Now on the outside, the cable is no longer in the cable keeper. In preparation for replacing this cable, we need to remove the inside screws from our slide seals so we can peel it back and see if the cable is jammed up in the wall or if it's just come off. Pushing on the cable, you can see it's routing. We know it's this cable coming down under this pulley. It is going down and out, but it is not on the exterior of the slide. So we're gonna have to find some way to push this down in order to push it back out the front and hopefully grab it with a pair of needle nose pliers and be able to pull it out. Now, sometimes these cables would be completely frayed and jammed up inside the wall to where there's no pulling them in or out. That's where a pair of cable cutters comes in handy. I have these because I have them at work, but when we were full-time on the road, kept these and brought them with us, which actually came in very handy. There's a link to these in the description so that you can get your own pair because these will cut through your slide cables like a hot knife through butter, making repairs a lot easier. Now the first step after you get to this point is going to be to remove your rubber stopper, pull out your old cable end, insert your new cable end, then insert your new rubber stopper. This is going to prevent your cable from coming out so that when you pull it, pull your new cable into your RV, you don't pull this piece out and end up right back where you started. Again, this is where your cable cutters will come in handy. Take your frayed piece of cable, use your cable cutters, snip off a nice fresh piece. With your cable replacement kit comes this Chinese finger trap style cable pulling tool. Insert your old cable into the Chinese finger trap and that will make it easy to pull your new cable into your RV. The more of the finger trap you can get onto the cable, the better it will hold. If you can't get a lot on, get a nice high quality piece of duct tape around the cable and your cable pull to prevent it from coming off. Now you can go inside the RV and simply pull your old cable, which will feed your new cable through the pulleys and along the proper route. Once your cable is routed where it needs to be, pull it back out of the adjustment hole, then insert your eye bolt, install your nut. Next, you're going to slide one side of the oval crimp connection onto your cable and up past your eye bolt. Then take the end of the cable, stick it through your eye bolt, and pull the rest of the slack. Next, slide the end of the cable through your, eye, your crimp connection the opposite direction, making a loop in the end of the cable through the eye bolt. Then you can use a pair of vice grips to squeeze the connection tight. Finally, use your cable cutters to trim off the excess cable. Now you're ready to move on to cable adjustment. To replace your slide motor gearbox, power head, or the entire assembly, start by loosening the pulleys at the ends of your drive chain. Take the nuts off and then let the cable pulleys hang so the cables don't get twisted. Then remove your chains from the drive gears on top of the gearbox, keeping them in line and remembering where they go. Next, you're going to remove any ties holding wires in place and pull them out of the way. Remove bolts holding your drive motor on, remove your drive shaft, then take your gearbox off the wall. Reinstall your new gearbox in the same location as the old one. Reinsert your drive shaft and reattach your drive motor, then zip tie your wires back in place, reattach your chains and the pulleys at the ends of the chains. Start with your slide room out so the drive chain pulleys are next to each other. Tape a level to the front of your slide, then locate the adjustments for the cables. Hold one side of the cable with a pair of vice grips so it doesn't spin while you're trying to adjust it. Tighten or loosen the set nuts as needed to adjust your bubble level to where the bubble is centered in between the two black lines. 
Measure the distance from the wall to the end of your slide in all four corners. Repeat the process on the other side. Take measurements until your slide room is square and equal distant from the wall. Then check the tension on each cable. If one is tighter than the rest, that's not good. So adjust it back out and then repeat the process as needed to make sure that your slide room rolls nice and smoothly in and out. Remember, likes are free, they don't cost anything, but they help us with the YouTube algorithm. So please like this video, share it to your Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe. If this video helped you, don't forget to hit that super thanks button so you can donate a dollar or two so we can continue making these videos.